Doctors say that we all need to take care of ourselves in this hot summer sun. Doctors at Peace Health say the most common conditions they see in this weather are sunburns and heat exhaustion. Initial symptoms include being thirsty and warm. Now, if you find yourself suffering, try to cool off by drinking fluids and finding some shade. Be careful, though, when cooling off in the water. It is still so cold in the rivers you could become hypothermic. You're definitely going to feel the intensity of the heat more as the seasons change abruptly like this when you go from having temperatures in 50s to 60s and cooler weather and rain to very sunny 90 degree weather it's going to take a bit more toll on your body you're going to feel that heat more intensely all right if you see somebody that is showing signs of heat stroke call 911 right away and a reminder to keep an extra close eye on the kids when you're around the water a pediatric surgeon at peace health says that drowning is one of the leading causes of death in children a thousand children drowned in 2017 and half of those deaths happened in a short amount of time not far from their parents Older kids tend to underestimate the depth of water, and that's why they say it's so important to keep watch of where they are in the water at all times. Drowning can happen very quickly and very silently. Remember one pair of eyes per one swimmer. Be in charge of your swimmers. You are the adult. If they're in too deep a water, pull them out. If they're in open water, they should have child flotation devices on that are certified. And they also say to make sure kids are using appropriate flotation devices. What they wore last year may not fit them or handle their current weight this year.